in the modern school. So, in the previous video, we are just going through the chapter number one, that is, numbers are friends. In that, we are just going, in the previous video, we have just started the Roman numerals. In that, we have seen up to the three rules. Okay, so let us start from the fourth rule, but before that, let us revise the rule number one, two and three. Okay, so here, the first rule was, that is, if a symbol is repeated one after the another, its value is added. Okay, the symbol, if it is repeated, then its value is added. But, the second rule was, what? If the I, X, C and M can repeat it, okay, only I, X, C, M can be repeated, not the others. Then after rule number 3, that is, the symbol V, L, D can never be repeated in the Roman numerals. The symbol, which one? V, L and D, this three cannot be repeated, okay. Then the fourth rule, that is, if a symbol with a smaller value is written on the right side of a symbol with a greater value, then its value is added to the value of the greater symbol. For example, here, the rule number 4 says, rule number 4, that is, what is the rule number 4? If the smaller value is on the right side and and the larger value is on the left side if i just give the example few examples that is x i i here what happens you can see x means it is 10 and i means it is 1 and 1 so here what happens x means 10 plus 1 plus 1 that is 12 here 10, 1, 1. Okay, so it is 12. Then after the another one example, that is, if I say L, X, L, X. So what is the value of L? Please see in the table. So the value of L that is 50. Value of L that is 50. Okay. And X that is 10. So here it comes 60. Means in the rule number 6, it, sorry, rule number 4, it is said that if the larger value is on the left hand side and the other two value on the right hand side is smaller than that, then the value is added in it. Means here the larger value is 10 and the smaller value it is 1. So, it 1 is repeated 2 times. So, 10 plus 1 plus 1 that is 12. Here, the larger value is L and the smaller value is 10. X means, so here 50 plus 10 that is 60. And now, rule number 5 that is, if the symbol with the smaller value is written on the left hand side of the symbol with the large value that is, value is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol. Here, rule number 5. Rule number 5. Okay, so what is the rule number 5? Let us see that. So here, in the rule number 5, it is, it is said that here it was what? Larger number on the left hand side and the smaller number on the right hand side. Then, the value is added in it. But now, in the rule number 5, it is said that if the smaller number, means the smaller value digit is on the left hand side and the larger number value is on the right hand side, then it is subtracted from that. Here, so I just give this both example only. So here, this one. Here you can see it is the opposite. Here the larger value is on the left hand side and the smaller value is on the right hand side. But here it is opposite. The smaller value is on the left hand side and the larger value is on the right hand side. So here what we will just do is we will subtract 10 minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 8. Or you can just directly subtract 10 minus 2 because here it is 2. Okay. So this is 1. And now moving forward this one. 
here if I say x l okay it is given x l so what happens here the larger value is on the right hand side and the smaller value is on the left hand side so what happens here l value means it is 50 and x value that is 10 so answer will be 40 okay here we, we have to add if the smaller digit is on the right hand side then we have to add and the smaller digit is on the left hand side then we have to subtract we have to just think that all then after moving towards the rule number 6 that is the symbol V, L and D are never written to the left of the a symbol of greater value here L <coughs> V, L and D are never written to the left of the symbol of the greater value V, L and D are never subtracted means V, L and D will never be subtracted then I can be subtracted from 5 and X only X can be subtracted from L and C only and C can be subtracted from D and M only ok here V, L and D cannot be subtracted from any of the other and this cannot be written on the left hand side and I can be subtracted from V and X and X can be subtracted from L and C and also the other was what yes C can be subtracted from D and M only ok other cannot be subtracted ok then after rule number 7 that is if the value of the symbols from left to right decreases or remains the same we add the value of the symbols for example here what happens if the values of the symbol left to right decreases or remains same we add the values of the symbol for example here we have given an example here and just doing that So how we can write this? Uh, I am repeating that in M C X X 
triple i okay so here the value of m first of all the value of m that is what 1000 the value of m that is 1000 so we will write here 1000 plus here you can see x c that is 100 okay and x x so the c x that is what 100 plus 10 and x and here it is 3 again so what we will write that is Hundred plus ten plus ten plus one plus one plus one. Here, thousand. C that is hundred. X that is ten. X that is ten plus one plus one plus. Okay. So our answer will be what? One two three. So three. Then after one two. Two, then after one, then after one. So our digit is one thousand one hundred twenty-three. Okay, friends. So if you want to write this, then you can write down. Then after, if the value of the symbol from left to right increases, we subtract the symbol with the lower value from the symbol. With the greater value, for example, C M, so thousand minus hundred, that is nine hundred X C, that is hundred minus ninety. Then C M V I, that is thousand uh, minus hundred plus five plus one is equal to nine zero six. And the rule number eight, that is a bar over any numeral means. The numeral is multiplied by thousand. So here the rule number A says that if there is a bar over any of the number, common number, then it is multiplied by thousand. So here it is ten into thousand. It is ten thousand. Okay. If I can say that C bar, then it is. Hundred into thousand. That is hundred thousand. Okay. So this is the thing. Now we will just move towards the exercise. Okay. Let us see. P. 
that is one, two, three. Okay, and this much I will do over here. Okay, students. So let us do that. So here the first one. How we will do? Here it is twenty. So how first of all we will make twenty. So I can say ten plus ten. That is. 20 and in that I will just add one that is I so it will become 20 so here it is x x one that is 10 plus 10 plus one that is 21 now moving towards 29 so how we will just do this so here we can repeat any of the digits means I x c And up to three times, and here we have to write twenty nine. So first of all, I will say that I have to take what three x and where the i is to be put. Okay. So think yourself and try. I am just giving you ten seconds to write down. So here the answer will be x x one. Sorry, i x. So what will happen? Ten plus ten plus ten minus one because this is the smaller one is on the left hand side so we have to subtract one so ten plus ten plus ten that is thirty and minus one that is twenty nine okay students so moving forward to the forty two so how do we just subtract forty two but we can repeat this. X means ten up to three times. Okay, so how we will just do this? Here we have to subtract this from L. That is fifty. We have to subtract fifty from eight. Now we have to take eight. First of all, L minus eight means fifty minus eight. That is forty two. So just think, it will be L, and we have to put other things on the left hand side. Okay, so then so how we will first of all make eight? Think it. Here, X L. Okay, what we have just do? Fifty minus ten. Fifty minus ten. That is forty. And plus two. That is forty-two. Okay, students, please write down this. And moving forward, that is the another one. That is H fifty-one. So here it is very easy. That is L. That is fifty plus one. That is L plus I. That is fifty one. Okay. Next, that is seventy four. J. Here we have to make seventy four. So for that, fifty plus ten. That is sixty plus ten. That is seventy plus four. That is V I V. So here it will be what? Um, first of all, L X X. That is what seventy. Fifty plus ten plus ten and plus four. This is four. So it is seventy four. Okay, friends. Moving forward to the ninety one. So here. Ninety one. How we will make ninety one? So here I can say that C minus ten, C minus ten, that is X. C minus X, that is hundred minus ten plus one, that is ninety one. X C I. Okay, students, that is. Then after next one that is ninety seven. So we have to subtract C 
वन टू थ्री सो सी माइनस थ्री दैट इज नाइंटी सेवन ओके मूविंग टू वर्ड नेक्स्ट Okay, students. Let me write down the answer. Now we are just moving towards the question number two. फिफ्टी 
plus 10 plus 10 plus 6. So 50, 60, 70, 6. Then after L, that is 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. 3 times and plus 5. That is 60, 70, 80, 80, 5. Okay, students. So please write down this first. Here, indicate first it is C. So, C that is 100 and below this it is 10. So, 10 and in the right hand side it is 4. So, it is 4. So, your answer will be 10. 100 minus 10 that is 90 plus 4, 94. Then after this one, C, C, X. So, 100 plus 100 plus 10 that is 210 then coming towards D C C so here it will be 500 plus 100 plus 100 that is 700 500 600 and 700 so these are the some of the Roman numerals and we have converted into Hindu Arabic numbers please write down this Question number 3 here it is which of the following is meaningless give reason to justify your answer so here first one it is what 10 plus 6 that is 16 so it is good then after b that is x v v first of all this v l and d cannot be repeated so according to the rule number which was the rule Rule number 3, V, L and D that cannot be repeated. So in the P, you can see V is repeated twice. So that cannot be repeated. So this is the meaningless. So B is the meaningless. I am just writing that. Why? Because V cannot be repeated. V cannot be repeated. Then after C, that is L X V. L X V. That L is fifty plus 10 plus 5 that is 65 ok this is meaningful then after next one that is D that is V C X here V C X so V sorry C means 100 and V is 5 and X is 10 so here according to the rule number mm, 
six. Here you can see this V L and D are never written on the left hand side. So this is meaningless. V cannot be written on left side. Okay, we cannot be written on the left side of any greater number. And the last one, E, E, that is I. L D I L D here this cannot according to the rule anything cannot be subtracted from this L cannot be subtracted from I so this is also meaning less According to the rule number six, you can see I can be subtracted from only B and X. I can only subtracted from B and X. Here it is L.